Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another haul for you. I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm slowly getting back into the swing of things, um, getting my mojo back in relation to beauty and things like that. Um, and I will have a favourites video out after this. But um, I actually had a £50 Primark voucher for my birthday, so I thought I would show you guys what I spent that on. Um, I'm also going to throw in a few things that I bought before that, um, which was over a month ago now, and I haven't yet shown you or anything like that, so I thought I'd just throw them in quickly from Primark. Um, so yeah, I will just get so started. The first thing I bought, um, and this was over a month ago now, is the bag that absolutely everyone is buying, and it's this tan kind of satchel baggy thing. It's not satchel, is it? Um, and apparently it's a dupe for one by Zara, which I don't really know because I don't have Zara around here, I don't really shop in Zara, but um, I really, really like it. It also comes in black um, and it's really, really huge, I put so much stuff in it and I'm actually really surprised at how kind of strong it is and how much it can carry because, like I said, I carry a lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, this is amazing and it was £12. Um, it, does come, it did come with a little um, kind of like a handle here, but I happened to by the only one that didn't have one on so but I'm not too kind of bothered by it because I like holding it by this anyway but um just in case you're wondering there is a handle meant to be there um but yeah I absolutely love this and like I said 12 pounds can't really go wrong it's full of a lot of a lot of stuff so um I don't really think I should do what's in my bag with it because it's full of tissues basically because I've had a cold so um that is the first thing I bought um and I've been using that ever since and it's Show not many signs of wear and tear actually for a Primark bag. Um, next to my little bag here, and I also bought on that same trip to Primark a kind of, it's not a, um, what do you call it? A thermal thing, it's just a kind of mug with moustaches on it, like the takeaway cups you get from uh, Starbucks, Costa, that type of place. Um, but I just really like it, I haven't used it yet obviously, so I wanted to show you guys. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's thermal, like I said, but it's just nice to kind of, I don't know, when you're playing games or making videos, you don't knock it over and it goes everywhere, basically. So yeah, I really liked that, and I will now start using it as I have shown you guys. Um, oh, and that was £2. So on to the stuff I bought with the voucher. Um, I'm going to start with a couple of boring things first. Um, I can find said boring item. Oh. And the boring items are socks, um, because I went to the Primark on Oxford Street, which is absolutely crazy by the way, um, and I'd wanted these little frilly socks for ages because I couldn't find them in my Primark, because my Primark's quite small, um, so when I saw them I just thought I'm going to buy them, even though they are two, two pound each, which isn't awful actually, it's pretty good in comparison to the Topshop ones, but um, at the same time it's like spending a voucher on socks. I don't know, a bit odd, but I like them. They're free. I got a black pair and a khaki pair. And I also have a burgundy pair from Topshop already, and they do have a burgundy pair at Primark. So yeah, I thought they're cute. They go with boots, um, and maybe brogues in the summer or something like that. Um, and yeah, I needed socks anyway, because mine go missing all the time. Um, and for that, I think I will place the blame on my dog. So, um, that was that. Um, I didn't buy much from the Oxford Street one. Well, I did buy a few bits, but I didn't buy everything from there because it was just hectic and I'm not very good in places like that, so um, I couldn't stay for too long. The next thing I bought was a little white cami, which isn't very interesting again. It was £2, um, but I bought it to go under this shirt that absolutely everyone has, and it is the alphabet shirt. Um, which I'd wanted for ages, couldn't find in my Primark, but thankfully found it in the Oxford Street one. Um, so many people have this one, like I said, it's a nice oversized sheer shirt with alphabetical digs on. Um, it's quite oversized. Um, now with Primark sizing, I usually go a size or two up, because I like things to be a little bit baggy. Um, but this one I kind of went true to size, because I tried and... Um, on one that was a size too big and it was just way too big so um, I would recommend trying this one on but um, yeah I think it's really cute I'd wear it with jeans and my little boots um, I think it's nice to wear when the weather's a bit better because it's been really cold lately I haven't worn it obviously um, but yeah 
that's that and um, that one was £12 which is a little bit steep for Primark but I really like it um, and I like shirts. I think I've been watching a lot of Primark hauls because I've seen a few people with this as well. Um, I love Primark hauls, they kind of tell you everything that's in the shop because they don't have a website. Um, but anyway, um, it is this kind of, I'm, I'm aware this is not going to translate on camera very well at all, but it's just kind of this slouchy, oversized, grey, mall kind of cardigan. It doesn't have um, buttons or a zip or anything like that, it just kind of flows, I guess you can say. Um, and it doesn't come in sizes, it comes, which, it obviously comes in sizes, well done, um, no, but it just comes in small, medium, large, things like that, so, um, I've got a small one, it is, um, still quite oversized, which is nice, um, and it's thin as well, so it'd be nice for spring, summer, because, well, if we ever get a summer here, um, and it was only £8, which I think was really, really good. Um, I think this would just be nice over a dress or over uh, just jeans and t-shirt or something, just to make it look a bit more interesting. Um, and as you can tell, I like this whole grey mile thing. Um, and this jumper was from Primark as well. Also only £8. Um, so yeah, that one's that item. The next thing I bought was a shirt, another shirt, also £12. Um, and it was, I saw this in the Oxford Street one, but I didn't buy it. Uh, where was I? Uh, before I got interrupted by the dog. Um, yeah, so I got, I saw this in Old Street Primark and then I didn't buy it and then I saw it in my, that's not really an interesting story, so, you know, not going to really tell it. So, <laughs> here is, to, it's just a light wash kind of denim shirt with sheer black sleeves. I got it in a few sizes bigger because I wanted it to be one of those shirts you can wear with... Because um, I wanted it to be one of those shirts that you can wear with leggings or treggings or something like that so that it covers your bum and yeah, I really like it. Um, it's quite nice again for the springtime because it's not that thick at all. Um, it's just something you can throw on when you can't really be bothered or when I can't really be bothered um, and maybe just add some accessories and it looks really cool. And again, that was £12. Um, yeah, I really like the it. The last thing that I bought was also a shirt and also £12. Um, it appears to be a theme. Um, I really, really like it. I love the colour and I love the um, material. But the one thing I'm not too keen on is the shoulder detail. And I'll show it to you first. Um, it's just this really beautiful kind of peach silk shirt. Um, I love the colour, like I said. I think it's really, really beautiful. But the um, shoulder detail, I think you can actually get this in like a plane, which I should have got, but I couldn't see it in my size. Anyway, um, the shoulder detail, I like the kind of, like the, I'm not sure what you call it, this material, but I do not like the diamantes, and I'm not a huge fan of the pearls. So I'm going to ask my dad very kindly to take this off, because he's good at things like that, and if I tried it, it would, um, it would probably just ruin the whole top. But I like the kind of cut-out detail, that's really nice. Um, it's just the diamantes, I think, cheapen it a little bit, when the fabric is really, really nice, um... But yeah, I think this is gorgeous, perfect for spring, um, not much more I can say. Oh, with this one, I bought this in the same size I bought the last one, the little denim shirt, um, and the denim shirt is much bigger than this one, so um, this one is kind of the right size, a little bit oversized, whereas the other one's quite oversized, just if you're wondering. So yeah, that is that, really beautiful. I'll let you know how I get on with taking these off because um, I'd like to maybe feature this in an outfit of the day or something like that at some point because it's really spring-like and hopefully soon we're going to be getting into the springtime. Um, so yeah, that was my haul for you. I'm sorry if it was a bit all over the place with the dogs barking and the... Well, that was all that really happened. Um, I really hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me know what you think and if you have a Primark haul, I would absolutely love to see it because they're my favourites. Um, and yeah. I hope you enjoyed, I already said that, so um, have a lovely day and I will see you guys soon. Bye!